And welcome to another fun and exciting episode of Kentucky Brew Review. I'm Steel Reserve. Special K. And tonight we have Sierra Nevada Pale Ale because... For some reason we haven't reviewed it after four years. It's like, it's like Guinness. We talk about it all the time. People always ask the date on the beers. This is a relatively fresh one. It's brewed at 10 20 of 2017, so about uh, a little less than two months ago. So it's a pretty fresh beer. Uh, Sierra Nevada, it's one of those beers where uh, if you can't find any local craft beers, it's definitely one to go for. Um, they make a really good uh, red IPA. They make their celebrations really good. Their ca uh, their beer camps are all good. Their torpedo's good. good. Torpedo's great. If you want a good solid, what a pellet should be, because um, I've had Bingo. this beer many a times. Dream team. You may have the left over. I mean, waste of no beer. All right, look. 2018. Hashtag, waste no beer. Hashtag no waste. Yep. This year we vow to drink. Sometimes, if it's beer's real shitty, we pour it out. This year we will pour out no beers, even if they're very, very shitty. We will drink them. We're gonna drink all of them. So. Uh, very carbonated. Yes. Stupidly carbonated. Head is slightly... Off-white. Yeah. Smell. Mmm. Uh, a little hoppy. It's got that golden color that you'd expect from a beer. Just a tiny bit hoppy. Not oh, a lot going man. on Oh, man. I want chicken wings. And it does go good with chicken wings. It goes with anything that's kind of fatty this beer goes good with because it's got that hoppy bite. Yep. That's Sierra Nevada. Hello. Slightly hoppy, nice and malty, yep. crisp on the finish. Very and crisp. if I had some wings right yeah. now, going great. Fried pickles. Oh yes, yes sir. Dude, we need roosters. to take we need to, we need to take a trip to Roosters, man. I can't eat Roosters anymore. The gallbladder thing. Nor can I eat fried pickles. Damn. It was it was a sad sad thing. Pretty much anything fried I can't eat anymore. It's very disappointing. But I can drink beer. So, it's all good. That sucks. I'll carry on. I will eat the fried... Bingo! We'll carry on. We'll eat the fried pickles. That's right. And the fried chicken. Um, this beer is... Always. And the fried Twinkies. Fried everything. All of them. So, when people say, hey, what, what's the definition of pale? This is like the little definition of pale. It though. truly is. It's, it's, it's a little bit hoppy. Nice, crisp, malt finish. It's light mouthfeel. It's everything it needs to be. Um, Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, I think runs around $8.99 for a six pack. Um, they come in, uh, you can get them in 16 ounce pints from like uh, Thornton sells them. Oh, what, two for three or something like that? Something like that. Two for three for yeah. maybe. But you know, it's reasonably priced. Yeah. Um, yeah, if you're into Pale Ales, like, it's, def it's like a step above a Pilsner. Pale Ale. In, in case you're wondering what a Thornton's is, it's a gas station. It's your Wawa. It's your... 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven. It's your Sheets. We don't it's have 7-Elevens here. It's the Pilot. I know. Pilot. There used to be one Pilot. downtown. Yeah. There was never one downtown. Maybe. There was never one downtown. There was one in the 90s here. Maybe in the 90s. I remember, but... but back in my Books a Million and Yu-Gi-Oh! days, there was none in Louisville. So let's go ahead and rate this beer. Um, it is a 9 for a pale ale. Like, it's everything it's supposed to be. I enjoy it. It's very drinkable. Easy going. Price is right for what it is. Um, yeah, it's a nine. I would drink it uh, anytime. If, if there's nothing good on tap and they have Sierra Nevada Pella, I'm gonna go for it. Yeah. Again, sticking with a uh, special K here. It's a nine. It's what you need out of a pale ale. Mm -hmm. It's exactly what you need out of a pale ale. You open up the dictionary to pale ale, there's a picture of Sierra Nevada pale ale. I mean, it's and it's, what it is. Do I recommend it? Yes, because it's a pale ale. Another thing that gives us points is the availability. Like it's readily available in cans you or can bottles. You can go anywhere and you can get it. Yeah, that's exactly why it's a good beer. And it's a craft beer, so it's, <clears throat> it, it's a good beer. It's a cheap craft beer too. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Yeah, that's our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on our channel. Obviously, we recommend it to you, by the way. Yes, I. Yeah. I said that, yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> if you like to see anything else on our channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget, forget to uh, check out us, check us out on uh, Facebook and Patreon. We've been drinking all night. We have. And 2018, no waste of beer. No waste. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. <laughs>